वेलकम बैक गाइज द रियल टाइम एनवायरमेंट इज एक्चुअली कम्प्लीटली डिफरेंट वन कम्पेयर टू वॉट यू प्रैक्टिस एट होम और मे बी वॉट यू विल बी प्रैक्टिसिंग एट होम विद माई ऑरकल कोर्सेस यू माइट प्रैक्टिस ऑन वन सिंगल वर्चुअल मशीन और मे बी कपल मोर बट द स्मॉलेस्ट ऑफ रियल टाइम एनवायरमेंट विल हैव एट लीस्ट फोर्टी टू फिफ्टी डेटा बेसिस नाउ दिस इज आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्मॉलेस्ट एनवायरमेंट understand these are just minimum numbers i have personally worked in environments with more than 900 databases in one project of course you might be surprised but yes i have handled uh, those environments where uh, the databases uh, i mean in the project we had more than 900 databases at this point you might be surprised that how can one or how can a dba manage so many databases is it really possible for couple of dbas to handle such big environments definitely yes because the real time environment has many monitoring tools and scripts in place which sends alert emails to dba team we call these type of monitoring emails as alerts so depending upon the severity of the alert dba team will react and fix the issues now let us understand why real time environments have so many databases if a company is having 200 databases does that mean they have 200 production databases supporting 200 applications no most of the times the production databases can be as low as 5 and the rest 195 databases will be development databases or quality databases or maybe test databases for a very simple application there will be one production database one or more development databases one or more quality databases and one or more test databases the production database is the one which is integrated with the front end application the application data is directly stored into the production database the development team cannot develop new code or functionality on live production database and therefore they have dev databases where a copy of production which are actually a copy of the production database similarly the test team and quality teams cannot modify the production database that's the reason we have test and qa databases ultimately in any given environment i'm talking about smallest or the biggest environment in any given environment the number of critical production databases will be very less these critical production databases will be handled by experienced dbas in the team now when you join as a dba like a fresher dba you will never be allowed to touch the production databases you will first be given access to administer the test databases because if something goes wrong it's only a test database right and later as per your performance you might be given access to the development database and qa databases as well now it takes lot of confidence and trust before you get access to the critical production databases now as a fresher generally it will take uh, one or two years for you to gain the trust of your seniors like senior dbas and then they might allow you to work on production databases in some exceptional cases yes there are uh, freshers or new dbas who perform exceptionally well uh, they do get production access very soon so there is no hard and fast uh, timeline to get the access for the uh, production databases i'm just giving you rough estimations but if you prove exceptionally well if you have a good performance if you have ability to learn things fast and if you can impress your seniors soon they might definitely consider to give you production servers access as well now to summarize the entire real time environment there are very few production system when compared to total number of databases in the environment the database sizes can range from some few gbs to multi terabyte size every environment has monitoring tools in place 
DBAs act based on alert emails and severity. Each application will have one production database and can have dev, QA and test databases.